met my girl by the gasworks wall. Dreamed a dream by the old canal. I kissed my girl by the factory wall. Daddy old town. Daddy own town. Drifting across the moon, cats are prowling on their beam. Springs and go on the street at night. Dirty old town, dirty old town. Sports fans, that was an abbreviated version of Dirty Old Town by uh, Ewan McCall, I think, uh, pre-50s version, but a song that was kind of made most famous, I suppose, by the Pogues years later. And here's the thing that the Pogues did to us for some reason. They recorded that song and uh, played it live in three different keys. The intro portion is in the key of D, the body of the song is in the key of G, and the instrumental break um, in the middle of the song is in the key of C. Uh, they wanted to make it difficult, I think, uh, especially for those among us who play the guitar and the harmonica together, but Sly Wagon Lessons is going to help you through it today and uh, demonstrate for you with a handy uh, tablature up there in the Picto tab on how to play in all three keys of Dirty Old Town with a single harmonica. All right? I've got a G harmonica in the rack for today, and with this one uh, diatonic harmonica in the key of G, we're going to play the intro portion in the key of D, we're going to do an instrumental break on the harmonica in the key of G. And then for the fiddle break from the uh, recorded version by the Pogues um, that is in the key of C, we'll, we'll do that on the harmonica as well. All right, we've got all the notes we need right here on a G harmonica. So let's get right into the intro portion. It's in the key of D. So the chords we are going to uh, need for this portion are a D, a G, and then uh, just towards the end of the intro, there's an E minor, and a B minor. The B minor being the relative minor of the, uh, of the D major scale, right? I guess the E minor you could think of as the, uh, the, the minor second for the D scale. All right, those are the chords we're gonna need, and you can follow along. I'm gonna try and play this one 
uh, nice and slow. It doesn't um, cover the entire melody. It's a little bit of an abbreviated version of the melody for the introduction portion of this song. I embellish it a little bit, um, uh, as you may have noted in the uh, intro to, uh, to today's lesson. I'm going to slow it down. We're going to put it up in the picto tab uh, so you can follow along. All right, starts on a four draw. Okay, that's how you play that intro part on the harmonica. The tough parts of this song, uh, honestly, are the vocals, because uh, it's tough, for me at least, to uh, change keys with the vocals. Not that strong of a singer. So um, what I do, a little hack here for you, uh, when I get to the end of that intro, and it ends on the B minor, but we're going to be playing the body of the song in the key of G. Right? So I want to get from, we're ending on a five blow, and I want to get to a B, because that's the first note I want to sing in the, um, for the first verse. I met my girl, right? Like that. So what I do, <laughs> little cheat here, is when I'm striking that B minor, the, um, on the third string, my pinky is there at the fourth fret. So that's a B note, right? Same as a, uh, same as the second string open. So I'm gonna, after I'm done strumming it, pick that out. That's my target that one I, I wanna hit vocally. I met my girl by the guesswork's wall. Dreamed a dream by the old canal. Kiss my girl by the factory wall. Dirty old town. Dirty old town. Okay. So you can see the chord progression in the G is. Uh, similar in structure to the to the what we did for the intro in uh, in the key of D, but it's uh, a G uh, that you're going to need. There's a C. And it's back to G, and then at the end it's dirty old town with an A minor, and dirty old town with an E minor. Okay. All right, we are making tremendous progress. We've done that intro on the harmonica in the key of D modulated to the key of G and sang a verse. Maybe you want to sing two verses, maybe three. If you would like to put in a harmonica break in the key of G, I'm going to show you how to do that uh, just now. The chord progression is the same as uh, in the verse that you sang. Um, there's a G, there's a C, uh, there is an A minor and an E minor chord came out of the way there, <laughs> and an E minor. All right, so I'll uh, slow down the notes and uh, put them up in the picto tab so you can follow along. This is a break now uh, on the harmonica in the key of G, and it starts on six blow. Six blow right up to seven blow.
here you'd just be going back and do another verse in the key of G. So you don't need any uh, vocal cues. For that one, you'll need some vocal cues when you come out of the instrumental break uh, in the key of C, which we'll cover next. Okay, it's time to get to that instrumental break, which is done in the key of C. If you want to do it like the Pogues do it, did the intro in D, in the body of the uh, song in G, including the uh, instrumental break we saw in the last segment. And uh, now we'll learn how to do the instrumental break modulating to the key of C. The chords will uh, follow the, the same progression but move to the, uh, to the key of C, if you know what I mean. So you need a C, uh, you need an F, which to keep simple I just do as the um, uh, kind of half F, don't strum those bottom strings which I leave open, all right? And then at the end, you need a D minor, and you need an A minor, which is the relative minor of the uh, key of C, all right? So you get into it kind of cold, coming out of the key of G, and then when you emerge from the instrumental break, you need to sing back in the key of G again. So I'm going to show you a little hack that the Pogues use. Um, uh, I picked up from the recorded version, and, and you can do it on the guitar to give yourself a little bit of a vocal cue so you know what note you need to hit when you get back into a verse uh, once again in the key of G. I swear, they're just trying to drive us all crazy with these, uh, with these key changes. All right, so uh, you've been playing in the key of G. This is before the, uh, the break in the key of C now. Daddy old town, daddy old town. Now we'll start the break. It's in the key of C. We're going to start with a four blow on the G harmonica. second that's an A minor to end the instrumental break now you want to get back into the key of G somehow to sing the next verse so uh, what I do and, and this is something that I think the Pogues do um, at the end of their instrumental break as well maybe to give their vocalist uh, a bit of a cue because once again your target is that B which you get at the open second string, right? Uh, and you're starting at a D, let's say. So uh, at the end of that solo, I'm gonna make me a good sharp X. See, just gives you a bit of a vocal cue um, as to what uh, note it is you you're wanting to uh, hit <laughs> all right and then you just do your best to try and sing it uh doesn't always work but uh it's a simple picking of the d note open and then um that's an e at the second fret of the uh, d string then g string open b string open I'm gonna make me a good sharp axe. All right. So that's how you get into and then out of that uh, instrumental break, which is in the key of C, and then you're back in the key of G to finish out Dirty Old Town. All right. So congratulations. Uh, you stuck with it uh, on Sly Wagon Lessons for all of the different segments of Dirty Old Town in three keys. That intro, 
in the key of D, body of the song with the break on the harmonica in the key of G, and then the instrumental break, also uh, on the harmonica for our purposes, in the key of C. So uh, well done. It is, uh, I'm going to admit it, uh, a tricky one. And because you've um, stuck it out for so long, thank you so much, uh, I'm going to give you a dirty little secret. I would probably never play this <laughs> live in three different keys. You've just got too much going on. You're singing. You're playing the guitar. You're playing the harmonica. It's too much to be changing keys three times, four times uh, in a single song. Uh, I, you know, you got to look good as well. You've got a whole lot going on. So uh, when I play this one, I tend to pick a key and uh, play it in that key. And for the most part, uh, nobody seems to uh, get too upset about that, all right? But we did learn uh, and can do, uh, as I did in the intro, the, um, the <laughs> dirty old town, the way the Pogues do it in uh, three different keys. So uh, thanks for sticking around for all of that and um, for uh, watching Sly Wagon Lessons. I hope you will subscribe to this channel and uh, I will keep the song bass instruction coming uh, to uh, learn together how we play the harmonica and the guitar together. So I would probably do Dirty Old Town in the key of G. And that's how I'll leave you today with a little bit more of that uh, harmonica break uh, in the key of G, all right?